Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is the 17th day of the July Legal Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let's get to start on today's farm. Top K frequent elements. Given a non empty array of integers, we turn the K most frequent elements. Okay. Um, so the first thing that I would look for is just to check whether it's sorted. Uh, and that may make things uh, slightly interesting. Um, doesn't seem like that's the case. So, so there are a couple of ways to do this. I think, uh, yeah, if you do some sorting and counting on a hash table and something like that, you can definitely do that in N-log N. Uh, I'm going to try to do it in and log k by using a heap, which is also the same idea, I think. Um, so yeah, so basically the first thing we do is we will keep uh, create uh, create a collections. Uh, so we'll put you, in Python, there's a thing called collections that counter, which allows you to do just count the number of things in a thing. So uh, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah, counter is equal to Collections that counter and technically it actually also just takes you could do this and it would actually do all the counting for you but for kind of uh, For kind of uh, going through it for other languages. I'm um, just gonna do this which is pretty straightforward as well in either case um, But yeah, and it's just basically you could treat it as a hash table that You know maps a key into with a value in Python um, okay, so now that we want, once we have that, and you know, no, no, noting that this would be O of n and O of n as well, um, in time and space, then yeah, then now how do we get the k, right? Well, we're going to use something called a heap. Uh, and in Python, it's a min heap. So we actually want to, um, well, we want to transfer it, translate it into a max heap, which is a little bit, uh, Little bit awkward, uh, but doable. Uh, you could also probably use sorted containers, but uh, I probably need to practice that a little bit more. But I think it's the same idea in either case. Uh, definitely something that I would uh, look into maybe in, in the future. Uh, but heap is, you know, the standard way of thinking about it in either case, or one of the standard ways, because you could get in like K, right? Um, actually, let me think about this for a second. How do you get into a log K? Well, you get into log K if you only keep k elements and actually in that case you want to return the k most frequent element so to make it you only check against the smallest element so actually a min heap would work in that case uh, sometimes i get it mixed up so it's good to talk it through um, but yeah and then now we just go through the counter one by one for key and counter uh, oops. Oops. Uh, we go so the, the count is equal to count of the key, and you can actually just do item size because. And then for that, we can put things in heap as we need to. Push a heap of the count and key, kind of, right? And because we want the min heap, uh, and we, so if we can actually conceptually just you know, we, we use a max heap, then we can just take the first uh, k elements, but that would be still be n log n because you uh, you may put each item into the heap once. But because we want to use min heap instead, then what we want to do now is just check the size as well. If a uh, length of heap is greater than k, then we do this thing where n, um, n, hmm. Yeah, if heap is greater than k and uh, the the top of the heap is greater than uh, the current count that we're inserting, then we want to push it in uh, and then also pop. Uh, the order in conceptually doesn't really matter. Um, and then otherwise, um, I think that's why I uh, was thinking about it a little bit. Um, Yeah, we want to put the in if here instead so that we can actually do if the length is less than k, then we just push it in either case. Um, 
Mm, we can actually put in one statement, so no. Uh, yeah, and I think that's all we need. Um, so now every element in the heap is um, every element in the heap is uh, one of the top k elements uh, and the most frequent. So now we just have to convert it back to an array to return it. Um, yeah. So. So something like that. Might have to check them off by one because clearly I return an extra number. But. Uh, and the reason is because, uh, yeah, I need this to be equal. Because if it's equal, then we also, uh, when we insert, then we pop. Yep. Uh, oops. Oh, whoop, uh, no, this is okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow, that just didn't execute. But yeah, I have to check the first element of the tuple. And I would also recommend using uh, name tuple for this. Uh, you want to improve your readability. Uh, okay, so that looks okay. So I'm going to submit and hope I don't have any edge cases. Oh, no. Oh, hmm. That's interesting. Got a typo somewhere. <laughs> huh. Okay. If the count, oh, I have this sign is wrong because if the top of the heap is smaller than count because we want to uh, keep the top uh, and okay. And I think, that, you know, that points to you need to be testing because sometimes you make silly mistakes and I was a little bit overconfident looking at the other ones, but, uh, but yeah, submit again. Cool. Uh, yeah, so just a little bit, a couple of silly mistakes that um, definitely if you write better unit testing, you would catch it. Uh, and I definitely should have done that there. Um, here's the no type working things, but uh, okay. But yeah, so what is the complexity of this? Uh, so in terms of space, we use linear space here, one element for each or each element. Uh, this is just K, but uh, which gets dominated by the O of N anyway. And then we return O of K at the very end. So O of N plus K, which is O of N um, for space. For time, this is O of N, this is O of K, but this is O of N log K. Uh, and why is it only N log K and not N log N? Because this only has, at, the heap has at most K elements. So every operation is going to be at most log K instead of log N. Um, and because of that invariant of us making sure that K the heap only has k elements, uh, it's going to be only n log k. So yeah, um, so n, n log k space, uh, sorry, n log k time and uh, linear space. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, this is actually a pretty standard problem, so definitely practice it in some way, uh, either using this or maybe sort of containers, though people may not be familiar with it and they might have to explain it if you do that on an interview, but, uh, but whatever you're comfortable with, it should be okay. Uh, cool. Uh, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.